today's video. Today, I'm going to show you how you can make your very own easy to make lip scrub. Now this lip scrub is, um, it's, it's pretty basic. You might have a lot of the stuff in um, your home already, but um, this is meant to um, help nourish and really just exfoliate the dead skin that's on your lips making it nice and smooth so that when you um, apply lipstick or lip gloss or nothing at all, that it will be nice and smooth and healthy. So let's get started. Today, we're gonna start with sugar. Now, it's important to know that the sugar should be um, finely grained. So if you have, say for example, regular, table sugar, you're going to want to grind that up. Um, I personally um, use like a coffee grinder, one that is only, that I only use in my lab. Um, but you want to make sure not to grind it too fine, because if you grind it too fine, it beca can become powdered sugar, which obviously you don't want. So, for this formula, you're gonna to want to add 39.41 grams of sugar. So let's go ahead and measure that out. Let me get my sugar. And again, this is 39.41 grams of sugar, so you're gonna to wanna to empty it, or put it in rather, a glass measuring, or a, a glass container, excuse me. I actually just went shy over. Okay. So once you've measured that out, you're next going to want to measure out 15.88 grams of oil. Now for this formula, I chose to use sunflower oil. And the reason I chose sunflower oil is because it's very um, nourishing for the lips um, and it's a cost-effective oil as well. So um, you really can use any oil that you want, but for this formula, I'm going to show you how I'm making this with sunflower oil. So again, you're going to want to take your oil and measure out 15.88 grams of your sunflower oil. You're gonna wanna add that to your sugar.
Okay. Once you're done with that, you're going to want to go ahead and um, add your next ingredient, which is going to be vitamin E. Now, the reason I use vitamin E is because um, I like to incorporate it into any formula that I make with um, oils, just so um, it helps the formula or the oils that I add to the formula not become rancid. Um, and plus, it also does add some benefits to um, the skin as well. So um, you're going to want to go ahead and add um, 0.2 grams of vitamin E. Once you're done with that, um, you're going to, um, I typically add some flavor oil. Um, I tend to kind of stray away from using essential oils simply because um, it can be pretty sensitive on your lips. Um, and I like to err on the side of caution. So I make sure to get um, food grade flavor oils, which I will incorporate into this formula. Um, and I will link everything that I'm using um, down in the description box. Um, so feel free to go ahead and check it out. Um, and for this particular formula, I'm going to go ahead and add um, just a couple drops of um, raspberry um, flavoring oil. So again, I'm going to want to measure out and I actually am going to do one gram. Now it's important to follow the um, manufacturers kind of, you know, what they would recommend you use um, as far as the usage rate. And what I like about the, this oil is it also gives my um, formulations a nice kind of added color. Now, um, if you choose to go um, the essential oil route, same thing. You want to follow the, um, the usage rate, make sure it's safe to use on your, your lips. Um, and the only way that you can really know that is to go... Um, to wherever you're purchasing your essential oils and um, kind of do a search, see what they recommend. Um, but again, for this formula, I am using a flavor oil. So once you've measured out your flavor oil, you're gonna wanna go ahead and take your wooden stick, stir stick, whatever stir stick you have handy. Um, you can even use a spoon, preferably one that does not come in contact with food and you're gonna wanna give this a nice stir.
So here is the finished um, lip scrub. Um, as you can tell, it's a nice pink color. Um, and you're ready to go ahead and um, put it in a jar.